Laura from Chicago asked me, what's wrong with going out with a married man? Especially since he said that his marriage is on the rocks, he's gonna leave her soon, and they haven't had sex in several years. So here are the top 10 reasons why you should not be with a married man. Number one, if he's unhappy, he should leave, period. Yes, it's gonna be hard financially, and yes, it's gonna be hard on the children. However, it's worse to lead a bad example for your kids by staying married. Number two, once a cheat, always a cheat. I know a couple who were married for 15 years. They both got married because they had cheated on their former spouses. Now, they're both cheating on each other. Do you wanna be with a cheater? Do you wanna be with someone who lies on a daily basis? And if he cheated on his wife, he's gonna cheat on you. Number three, you'll be a homewrecker. Do you want that on your conscience? What will that woman think of you? And what are you gonna think of yourself? Is this gonna help your self-confidence? I don't think so. Number four, he says he's in an open marriage. That's fine, but does she know he's in an open marriage? Do you wanna be with a liar? Number five, do you wanna be the backup quarterback or do you wanna be the starter? Why shouldn't you be the one to go out on the Saturday nights, the holidays and, and the weddings? Why are you the one that's never taken out in public? You should be number one. Number six, who the hell does he think he is that he can get his cake and eat it too? What makes him so special? Sounds to me like he's just a selfish, entitled person. And I wouldn't wanna be with that kind of person, would you? Number seven, and here's a big one. If his wife finds out, you'll be opening the door to a lot of anger. Remember, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Yes, he'll tell you that he erased all the texts, but do you believe him? How do you know he didn't make a mistake? A friend of mine told me he found out his wife was cheating on him and he had to use her phone and found all their post-sex texts. Number eight, single men are most likely going to give you the respect and the honesty that you're going to want in a relationship. You'll get neither one of those by getting involved with a married man. He's actually okay with you waiting around for him to break his family obligations. That's not being very respectful. Number nine, diseases. Diseases. Number nine, diseases. Number nine, did you... <laughs> he may be cheating on you as well as his wife. Don't believe that he's always wearing condoms. Remember the difference between love and herpes? Herpes lasts forever. Number 10, most importantly, it's wrong. I feel I'm an open-minded person. I see nothing wrong with people experimenting with like-minded people. However, you're participating in a dishonest, unethical activity. It's one of the 10 commandments. Don't do it. The momentary pleasure that you get from this extramarital affair is not worth the years of guilt and remorse.